Hello, welcome to the show. If you're not familiar, the show is something that I work on for a solid week, lose my mind over, and wait forever for YouTube to upload it. So all the events I talked about are usually gone and past, so people can watch the first half and not see me do this like in the last episode. Love from Rocket Ship Productions, a cool film and media art house making some cool videos at a Sarnia, Ontario, and a band called Hello Bella making some cool music out of the London, Ontario area. <coughs> first things first, I have not been doing a lot, Sarnia, but I have been working on the new Marinol Nation music video for the music W H O R E. Take a hit, take a line, gotta last until four. Gotta write a song, cause I'm a music whore. And it is coming out very soon, I promise. I also have taken the liberty of re-uploading all the action figures videos that were down for a while and they're back up again. Please check them out if you're into that. Check it out. No! I've been doing a lot of filming for Patty Flaherty's. Here's two bands that I caught in the last couple of weeks. Here's Paper Lions. <laughs> And here is Michael Bernard Fitzgerald. Links to the full videos are in the description. Please check them out. And now for a new section of the Rocket Ship Productions segment of the video called Ian Goes Awkwardly Political. I was asked by my friend Jim Chevalier to record him doing a show at this story for the NDP Brian White campaign. <laughs> you know, the fact of the matter is, uh, social democracy is on the move. People are starting to get it, thankfully. It's not a dirty word. When you're talking about the new Democratic Party, you've got a party that even the government of Canada recognizes has the most responsible fiscal platform of all of the parties ahead of the Conservatives. The party that has run more surplus budgets with the smallest government while still maintaining social programs that benefit everybody. Yay politics and NDP. I really don't want to get into this because I don't want to admit that I'm too stupid and uneducated to talk about politics with you. So here's Jim Chevalier. And the sad twilight is feeding into the black of night. I'm a douche. Please check out the full video. The link is in the description of Jim Chevalier rocking out. But moving on to Hello Bella news. Some good news considering Hello Bella. They've landed themselves a Toronto Independent Music Award nomination. Links in the description to check all that stuff out. They're going up against four other artists to land themselves a spot in the show. Good luck to them. They finally made it! Hello Bella is also playing Molly Blooms in Stratford again October 8th. If you're in the Stratford area, check them out. But moving on to things and stuff. I was polite asked to make a mention about a Facebook group called Do You Remember Places That No Longer Exist in Sarnia? Please check it out, link in the description for that Facebook page for the not so youthy fans of mine. So you can go check that out and feel older. <laughs> Pissing off my fans like it ain't no thing. I'd also like to let you know about our new show planning society happening in Sarnia. Dying Scene Productions are now a thing. Adding to the list of all the other people that are putting on shows in this town, which is great and you should know more about. Dying Scene Productions is putting on a show at Cupper's Cove. Tuesday, October 11th with the bands Baby Eagle and Grey Kingdom. Opening up for them a huge line of artists, including Marty Oblock and some of the kids from Rent. Be sure to check that out. And also, if you're still interested in seeing some of the performances from Empty Spaces Harvest Fest a while back. Here's a little straggler that didn't make it up onto YouTube until now. Thirsty Fish performing at the story. Enjoy. And here we go. Quickly, some events that I'm going to try and ramble off to you as quickly as possible so nobody gets bored. Starting with ongoing is the Sarnia Library performance of Nunset Boulevard until Saturday, October 8th. Dog Day, the Allen Wolf, a Huron Union, and Jen Brace are playing the Trinity October 6th. Gary Nixon exhibit at the story this first Friday. The Mud Men and Sound of Fans are playing the Mule October 8th. Crazy for You at the Imperial Theater runs from October 14th to the 22nd. The Sarnia Library presents Zombie Fest on October 29th. The Lawrence House and the One Family present Something Series with Sandro Perry and friends. On October 30th, Trent Rogers, the comic book store guy at Future Pastimes is having his first annual cosplay Halloween party at the Kiwanis Center. And a sneak peek at November stuff that I know about. The Barn Burners are playing The Mule November 12th. And Diversion Entertainment, the people who brought rent to Sarnia are putting on title of show at the Sarnia Library Theater on the 25th and 26th. <sighs> All right, now for everyone's favorite segment, I like you. Starting off with Stardust Book Lounge. Take a look at the book that I found. There's no reason this season.
Peace of all you just round. Yo, bitch, Joe will turn that frown upside down. And that's what happens when people ask me to mention them in my show. I'm also obliged to let you know about this first Friday, the Painted Cat is opening their new studio at Impulse Hair Design, where I will be making a commercial. So please come on by and check out some roller girls with their faces painted. It's gonna be a good time. Please come out. Impulse Hair Design is located on Front Street under the sign that says Impulse Hair Design. And now of course, for some sad news, the photographic genius behind the calculated color, Melissa Upfold will be leaving Sarnia and living in London now. Her and her photos will be dearly missed. So here is a little tribute to the calculated color. going to delete me from her Facebook friend list for that one. And now moving on to a sub-segment of the segment I like you to, a segment I like to call There Are Other Filmmakers in Sarnia Trying to Do What I Do. The filmmaker I'm talking about today is a step closer to a Huron union, not the band, but the union that is Sarnia and Port Huron. Hopefully one day we can all get together and do stuff. I'm talking about Randy Randall. He's a YouTuber from Port Huron. He comes over to Sarnia a lot because he likes the entertainment scene. And here's a clip of one of his videos. You know why Justin Bieber got that hair, I'm gonna let you in on this. This is why he wears the hair. He kinda got something to hide. It ain't like he's got a third eye under there or nothing. Underneath all that hair, got a swastika just like one of these. Carved it in there himself. He didn't know the music thing was actually gonna pop and happen. Hell no. He was just drunk and f***ed up and all that in Canada. That's all they do. Go sit in the parking lot of Wendy's and drink wine. Link in the description of his YouTube channel. Please feel free to check out his videos. Very funny guy. Speaking of very funny guys, there is another mustache video on its way or up by now whenever this video gets uploaded by YouTube. Well, hello again. He used his mustache as a flint to start a fire. Unfortunately, this never worked. His mustache was too velvety smooth to produce any friction. Don't forget about the mustache guy. And Danny Alexander and the Cassidys have released another music video, and I'm a huge fan of this next one. Good, I feel great, cause time came, took the pain away. Good, I feel great after the rain, it's a sunny day. Good, I feel great, cause time came, took the pain away. Good, I feel great, ain't these days really crazy, man? I believe we all need to put as much support as possible into every music genre that comes out of this city. Whether you like it or not, it is all actually amazing. And of course, I wouldn't feel right to have my own show where I get to talk about people that I love and I think are cool unless I shamelessly plug the ones that are closer to me. My brother, Jordan Alexander, is in a band called The Lunchbox Standard and he told me to tell you about it. Jordan Alexander, Tyler Johnston, and Brandon Flamenimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim